Well, usually when you think of uh, roadkill, bears definitely don't come to mind. But over the weekend, a father and daughter might tell you otherwise after they collided with a bear on Interstate 15. Eyewitness News reporter Dennis Valera is live in our Pocatello newsroom now. Dennis, were there any injuries, first of all? Luckily, Todd, neither Lane Morgan or his daughter Claire suffered any injuries during the accident. Both the Morgans and Idaho State Police were very surprised to see a bear on a busy interstate. The Morgans were just heading to a family birthday party Saturday morning. We got up early and left Clifton and headed for Montana. But when they got close to exit 47, a surprise ran right out in front of them. All of a sudden, just out of nowhere, right by the on-ramp of McCammon, there were some bushes there. And that bear just jumped, started right out in front of us. The black bear flew into the median after the collision. The bear eventually crawled to this spot in the grass. So the bear ended up like right over here? He ended up right here. ISB Corporal Robert Christensen responded to the call for the accident. He didn't believe a bear was involved until he saw it in person. I was a little skeptical. Most of the time we get a call like that, it's a confused tourist or someone unfamiliar with wildlife. While this may be southeastern Idaho's first bear on car accident here, bears are fairly common in nearby areas like Lava Hot Springs. According to this Idaho Fish and Game Senior Conservation Officer, the local bear population is growing. So for a bear to be seen here on the interstate, it just means they're moving. As more and more habitat is available to, to these bears, they are going to move around from monarchs up into this range here. So should we expect more accidents like this in the future? As population of bears grow, we could see that happening. Um, but not in the near future, maybe as population grows a little bit more. Fish and Game is currently conducting studies in Franklin County to try and get a p bear population count. Ryan Ewing told me the growing bear population is a statewide trend. Live in the Pocatello Newsroom, I'm Dennis Valera. Yeah, you would not have ex expected that there. Dennis, thanks. According to Idaho State Police, one of the bear's shoulders was shattered. Uh, it was put down right there.